Killed it. Killed it once again. But we got to take five to the hospital. Yeah, we are at this uh, John Tien Hospital. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. It is car wash day. Let's get the car wash. You know my standard spot, right? But look at this truck right here. Damn, you got that thing looking clean. Whew. Looking good. Anyway, I left the far. You know she got a bad foot. I left the far over at Sunflower, so now I gotta walk over there to meet her and have some breakfast. And there is a YouTube superstar over there. So we might have to say hi. Somebody's yelling, yeah. Chocolate man, what's up, bruh? <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> say hey to the fans. He over at that gym. That gym back there, that is one of the outdoor gyms. Uh, you know, open air gyms. Man, you're going to sweat your butt off in there, but it's a bargain. It's a bargain, and they got great equipment in there. So it's a good deal. Anyway, they get over to Sunflower and have some lunch with my baby girl. I think I'm going to have me a cowboy. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Have me a cowboy. Then we got to go over to Richie Max house and we're gonna talk to him about the big subscriber party should be some other people over there anyway anyway that's what we got going on today nothing too crazy let's go check it out do, do, do. look at this i just got here i was too busy outside talking to lucas and uh some other friends here in patia they were uh, hanging out that because of my re recommendation of course they were hanging out here at the sunflower <laughs> hey what are you doing get your look Look, okay, so I told her to order my food because I, I knew I was going to walk back here from the car wash so my food would be here and be ready for me. And then as soon as my food shows up, she tries to eat my food. Look, they're getting tired of this. In every video, you stealing my food. Just order your own food. You're only going to eat chicken wings? That's all you got? That's all you That's all you ordered was chicken wings. That's it. Okay, so order your own pancakes. That's all right. They'll come out in just five minutes. You'll have your pancakes. These are mine. Nope, these are mine. I ordered these. Nope. Just order your little chocolate pancakes. You'll be all right. That is not little. Yeah, it's good. You can have chocolate pancakes. You can do it. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Always looking good. Always looking good. And I really love it when you guys go to places that we recommend and then talk to the owners and tell them who sent you. Thank you for doing that. Appreciate you. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. Anything else they should do? Be a member, yeah. Patreon, all that. Just you don't care. Just eat your chicken. <laughs> Woo. Killed it. Killed it once again. But we gotta take five to the hospital. Something is definitely wrong with that. That's all she had was chicken wings. I can't believe. What's wrong with you? And then later on, she's gonna want everything, which is gonna make no sense. You know what happened though? She drank some protein. She works for a company who s sends her all these protein drinks, like all kinds of protein drinks. And all she has to do is send them photos. It's crazy. <laughs> send them photos with their product and they send her all this stuff. Of course they pay her as well, but then they send her all these protein drinks as samples. It's crazy. But yeah, she drank one of those before we came out and now she didn't feel like eating. So, hey, you guys might want to get some of them protein drinks. I never have <laughs> protein like this before and I never understand how to feel full or don't want to eat. Yeah. Now I know. Yep, so now you feel full. <laughs> Crazy. So she wasn't able to eat a whole lot of food. Maybe I need to start drinking the protein drink too. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm just loving this. They're having like, like every day they have like different little fresh bakery items here. Look at this banana cupcake with a giant dollop of cream cheese frosting on there. Wow. Apple muffin, I bet that's really good. Look at the white chocolate chip cookies. These are huge, guys. I'm like, again, I have huge hands, and look at the size of those compared to my hand. M&M cookie, dark chocolate chip, these are so good. Oatmeal, that's what's up. Turtles, oh, I'm sorry, no, these are crinkles, not turtles. <laughs> Crazy. She might have to change the name to turtles, though, because of you. Hey, I want to come in. I want to get one of those turtles that Fog got. Good have? stuff. You got a couple. They got like three. You going to take them all? Yeah. You going to take all three for real? Mm -hmm. Fog's going to take all the crinkles so nobody else can have some. Yeah, I want to try the drink, uh, the thing to like Oreo in the beginning. Oreo what? The milkshake? No. What are you talking about? I don't know. Fog's talking about something I weird. I forgot the name well, but just buy this one. Okay. We're going to go see who are the, who are the Who are the chocolate crinkles for, baby? We're going to go Friend, right? uh -huh. I got three cookies, one uh -huh. for me, one for me, and one for me. 
that's that that's my baby. Always always so kind and uh, so giving. Loves to share. Doesn't know me by cookie anyway, so. Uh huh. All okay. for me. Okay. All right, y'all got to do that walk. Back to the car wash. Of course, I had to leave the fall back there. Her foot is still jacked up. So yeah, absolutely. Wasn't going to let her have her walk all the way over here. That was not going to work out. Left her back there at the restaurant to hang out with Alex and Mike. Alex and Mike, Sunflower. I'm telling you guys, bigger and better things are coming for the Sunflower. They ordered a smoker. Smoker that's going to be here in like a week. Probably by the time you see this video, they'll already have it. Barbecue, smoked chicken, barbecue, brisket, uh, I don't know. They said a bunch of other meats are gonna do uh, pork butt all that like they're gonna have Straight up now Mike Alex's husband is from Texas y'all from Texas used to run Texas barbecue restaurants I'm just saying that might kind of mean oh by the way making their own sauce making their own sauce for the barbecue Just you know from Texas ran barbecue restaurants got a smoker I'm um, just saying probably gonna be some good things happening there I'm going to go check out Sunflower soon, but hey, we're going to go back over there on Monday. It's Saturday today. We're going to go back over there on Monday and try their dinner menu. Looking forward to that, but stay tuned. Look at that perfect timing. They're just finishing up the Stormtrooper. Awesome. Working that night. They're just drying it off now. Looking good. Little Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper has not had a bath in like about two months, so it was good. It was good that uh, I finally got it washed. It really needed it. All right, let me chill out wait for them to finish up hey guys I just want to mention uh, I should probably get it on video more I don't but I run into people every time I go out like when I go on my walks when we're running around town like just here like when I left the car wash earlier someone's screaming hey chocolate man whatever we run into people all the time all the time like literally you know multiple times during the week multiple times during the day we run into people who have moved to Thailand Change their lives they're happy they've been you know some of the people we meet they've only been here for a couple of weeks some of the people we met been here for months some of the people have been here for over a year now from watching my videos lucas's i mean just i can go on and on richie's video lucas video uh uh greenies videos whatever whoever's videos they've seen you know it has inspired to come over here check it out see what's going on in thailand and i have yet i have i'm sure there's somebody out there i'm sure it's going to happen eventually but out of all these people we've met not a single one has said, hey, uh, you know, I didn't really agree with what you guys said. I really don't enjoy it here. Uh, I don't think your your take on it was accurate. I think not one person, they've had the opportunity, was standing there right face to face. I don't have a camera in their face. I'm not recording them or anything. They could say whatever they wanted to say to me and they never have anything negative to say. They're happy to be here. They're very happy that we did the videos that we do, help them out. They're so appreciative of the information. They go back and they do their research. You know, they watch our videos and watch everybody else's videos. They get information. You're like, yes, you know, through watching all these videos they got enough information to feel safe feel comfortable to come over here on their own and make it happen and start a new life and uh i, I tell you that stuff mm, whoo we love we love hearing about it anytime you see me on the street and you want to stop me and tell me that story i'm happy to listen i'm so happy to listen you know if you want to hey chocolate man i just got to tell you man i'm the reason you're you're the reason i'm here we hear it all the time man we love it we absolutely love it and we appreciate you guys in case you haven't seen my past videos on this car wash, this little car wash right here is up on Pratanak, right? It's right between Pratanak 4 and Pratanak 5, Soy 5 and Soy 4. Real easy to find. Uh, there's the big 7 Eleven is right there that's up on uh, Pratanak Road. It was like we're literally behind the 7 Eleven, and uh, Patia Rent a Car is like right over there. So, I mean, it's super easy to find. Super easy to find. Come in here. You may have to leave your car. You know, it might take it. They're on a busy day like today where it is absolutely gorgeous out. Yes, everybody wants to get their car washed and make it look good. So you may have to wait a little bit, but it's totally worth it. These guys are absolutely professional. They grind. You see, they got a big family operation here. They got so many people working on the cars. But here's the real. Here's the real deal. It's cheap, y'all. It don't cost nothing. You can see the prices right there. Most of you are gonna have a motorbike or a small car, which means anywhere between 100 and 200 baht. That's it. That's inside, outside, vacuum, you know, completely dry the car off, no spots, clean the windows. I mean, they just, uh, you cannot beat that deal. Come check them out. Look at Stormtrooper. Look, staying dirty. Look at Stormtrooper. Doesn't she look like a rock star when she's clean? Come on, man. Tell me this car ain't paper. Look just like a Ferrari. Okay, well, maybe not, but she look good clean. 
Uh, we have a lost and distressed girlfriend here. If anybody's looking for a girlfriend, she is lost in this garage. She, she's too hot. She comes with free cookies, though. If anybody needs. to share. <laughs> yeah, we know that. Boy, we know that. We know that's right. When we have a lodge, but I'm not going to share. All right, this is for Alex here. Okay, Alex at the Sunflower made these. Make sure y'all check out Sunflower, Prop to Knock Soy 4, fresh cookies. Mm -mm -mm. Just take the whole cookie. We're trying to, trying to pick a little piece of it. <laughs> all right, having our meeting for uh, Richie's subscriber party here. We got all the famous people here. It's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a minute, Chuck. Wasn't you just over at Richie's house? chilling out having a meeting and enjoying the group yeah I was but then one of our friends wasn't feeling well and he had to go to the hospital so yeah we are at this uh Jom Tien hospital brand new hospital here it is owned by the same company that owns Bangkok hospital here in in uh, Pattaya and all throughout Thailand super nice facility in there really nice staff working here only problem is is apparently they won't accept foreign medical program through the VA program which was interesting to me they said they only accept Thai insurance totally understand that um, honestly though I think if I talk to the International Department at Bangkok Hospital they might be able to get the okay worst case scenario if you had to come here though but this is more of a get them in get them out type of a hospital it seems like they're very efficient we came to check in here my friend went right to the front desk got some paperwork real quick and then they sent him right back to see the doc it was it was real simple so I mean he was back seeing the doc within like 10 minutes of us getting here uh, looks like his problem is not going to be too serious, so that's good. So we should be out of here soon. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys if you heard anything about Jump Tien Hospital or was curious what was going on, this brand new building out here off of Sukhumvit Road. Like, hey, uh, yeah, I wonder about that hospital. I wonder if it's good. So far, it seems great. And they had no problem dealing with us as foreigners. So cool. I can uh, add that to the list of recommended hospitals here. You know, private hospitals in Thailand are usually the better bet for us as Farong. You know, they're going to be more expensive. You're probably gonna wanna have insurance and that type of thing when you go to places like this, or it could be a little expensive out of pocket, but I think you're gonna have a better experience than trying to go to like a city hospital. Just my opinion, up to you though.